All right, I'm going to be going over the feature laser pane. So if we turn off laser, we can turn it back on. It's located here. If we reset our panes, it's actually a default pane located here. Now what laser pane does is it combines the functionality of several different items. For example, this isn't simply looking at the device the laser pane is working with like spooler does. It actually controls devices here. So if we switch from one to three, we will see that the third device is now the active device on our laser. Now start works like an instant start. So uh, on device one, if I hit start, it will simulate the job and then proceed to start the job. Now if I switch to say laser three and I start the job, it will start the job again on laser three. So if I go back to laser one and I stop, now that laser one, which was the red uh, reticle, has stopped. If I go to laser three, stop. Laser uh, three there has stopped. This uh, selected the laser and reset it. Now, the important thing here is that it also saves the plan. The upside to saving the plan is that you don't actually need to have a lengthy optimization process again if you want to simulate. It will simulate instantly. But if we modify the location here and then we hit simulate, it simulates the old location. You have to hit update, which will take a period of time as it updates the plan. And then once it has done the optimizations again, it will let you simulate again. This simulated instantly because the update did the update to the optimization. There are also quick access to the optimization settings. First and foremost, there is enable and disable optimizations. For example, if you don't want to do a lengthy op optimization and you simply want to run it, you can decheck the optimization update and it will instantly be able to run. So we can start the job immediately and it will run in a non-optimized fashion. Now, if we recheck optimi optimize and we update our plan, it will spend a while optimizing while it's doing the work of uh, lasering the first plan. In addition, there are optimization settings on the second page of the pane. Now, the pitfalls to this is if you don't realize that you are using an old, uh, an old plan, you can end up uh, running again and it will execute on the wrong item so if we move this over here and we just hit start naively it started over here because that's where the plan in our simulation was our simulation is still on this plan we actually must clear or update the plan to have it update the plan and while this pitfall may lead to some issues later on the workflow it exemplifies is going to be helpful enough that it's worth it unless you have some ideas on how to help rectify this the idea is basically we have a plan that we optimize one time then we send it to the laser then we select the other laser when it's done start that etc and proceed until all of our product is uh, manufactured correctly. And this should help with a number of workflows and a number of complaints I've seen on Facebook. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching.